And my name's Dr. Scott Ling. Uh, I'm from IMAS, uh, and, and we're over here on Mariah Island running the first ever um, course in a practical introduction to temperate marine biology. Temperate marine ecosystems provide many ecosystem services to humans. Uh, they're very important in terms of fisheries, so they support uh, very lucrative fisheries here in Tasmania, such as the abalone and rock lobster industry. Uh, they support also a really large um, diversity of, of other species as well. Uh, we're seeing a lot of changes, uh, particularly in eastern Tasmania, off, right here off uh, Mariah Island. Um, and this is a really great spot to bring the students to teach them more about the issues of the marine environment, uh, some of the challenges ahead and how we need to address some of these major uh, threats to, to our marine ecosystems. So, so what we're setting up, uh, all of the students are, are being trained in species identification, uh, all of the data they get is going to be collated. We're going to then um, compile this data from one course to the next. So we hope at this stage to run two courses per year, but potentially up to three. Um, and every time we come over here, we're going to collate this data and it's going to be part of a longer term uh, observations. At the end of the trip, we really hope that they, they can take those skills um, and, 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 and put them to good use uh, with, with further opportunities for them down the track. So the, the Year 11 and 12 students who are part of this course will actually get credit towards uh, a university degree in, in the Bachelor for Marine Antarctic Sciences. So Mariah Island is situated pretty much smack bang in the Freycinet bioregion. Now this is a bioregion that's undergoing intense change. So we're seeing a lot of strength in the East Australian current, bringing a whole bunch of new species to this coastline. We're seeing uh, increases in things like sea urchins, which can, which can overgraze kelp beds and lead to very large impacts, particularly on the outside of Mariah. What we have right here in Darlington, uh, in the northern and northwestern side of Mariah, is, is one of Tasmania's uh, oldest and largest um, inshore marine reserves. Um, and, and this place has been very important. Uh, it, was, it was declared in 1992 uh, and it's been a really important uh, place to examine how effective marine reserves can be to allow species and uh, fish populations to recover once, once they're protected from fishing. So we learn a lot about the ecology of, of temperate reefs in, a, in Tasmania but also Australia and globally by examining this marine reserve right here off uh, the Darlington Jetty. So for me I first took a very similar marine biology course to this over 17 years ago. I was extremely excited to be part of that. For me it was a real, uh, the penny dropped, I'd worked out that's, that's the career option for me and to, to have then spent the last 17 years working as a marine biologist getting to experience a whole bunch of marine habitats not only in Tasmania and the mainland Australia but all over the world, it's really kind of going full circle for me to be able to now teach the next generation um, what it takes to be a marine biologist.